Hi, second grade artists. Today we're going to learn how to draw a donut inspired by the art of the artist Wayne Tebowd. Wayne Tebowd is an American painter who is known for painting delicious things such as desserts and food. He also paints landscapes and he is also still alive. He is a hundred years old. So let's get a pencil and paper and whatever materials you have in your house to color with and let's get started. Okay, I have my pencil and I'm going to use crayons and paint today to color and my black sharpie marker. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an oval in the middle of the paper. Try not to draw pressing too hard because we're going to need to erase. I'm going to draw another oval in the center and I'm going to draw a curved line going across like that. Underneath I'm going to draw a curved line that comes down like this and like this and connect it like this. Now I'm going to erase this area here. And where that line was, we're gonna draw a curvy line for some frosting. We can round this off better, like that. Okay, and then here I'm gonna add some more frosting. and a curvy line in here for some other of that frosting. Then I'm gonna draw a line here to represent a table on both sides. And I'm also gonna put a line here so it looks like there's a wall in the background, see that? Also on the bottom, there should be a shadow. We're gonna, when we looked at Wayne Tebowd's, Tebowd's artwork, he has, looks somewhat realistic. So he also has shadows in some of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna trace it and then I'll come back when I'm ready to color. Okay, so I traced everything with the black marker and I'm ready to color. I left the shadow uh, untraced because I'm actually gonna use a crayon for that and I'll start that first. So I'm just gonna trace an outline with the crayon and I'm gonna start the shadow dark as it's closer to the donut and then I'm gonna get it lighter as it goes a little bit towards the edge, to the end. See how I'm coloring it just a little bit lighter as it starts to fade to the edge. And you kind of blend that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna color my Frosting here, it's gonna be chocolate. Nice and delicious brown chocolate. Okay, so now I'm going to coloring this frosting pink. Be creative as possible. You can add some sprinkles, you can add some other types of toppings. I also added a line here because um, the donut hole is see-through, so it separates the wall from the table. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add some more chocolate on the inside of what we're seeing. And then I'm gonna color the donut this color. And that would also be inside of here as well. Okay, so I'm done coloring the donut. I'm gonna start with painting the background. So my table, and I'm just painting it only because I don't wanna take forever to color it. You can use whatever materials you have, if you have paint, if you have 
uh, crayons, markers, whatever you like. doesn't matter if you touch the crayon because remember it makes a resist okay so I'm gonna do this side of the wall red table in here. See that? Because the donut is that the hole there. And I think I'm going to do the other side of the wall green. I'm going to do complementary color here. Red and green are complementary colors. So you can think about uh, using complementary colors when you're coloring your donut or when you're doing your background as well. You can even put something in the background if you want, maybe a window, maybe your donut is on the shelf in the supermarket and you're coming and going to get it. Okay, and here we are, our donut is finished. I can't wait to see, oops, forgot my background here. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Don't forget to send me a picture. Thanks, bye-bye.